Yo, what's up Kings? It's your boy here and once again Young V shooting another fantastic video. Just want to come on here and just give you a little attitude and mindset, a little perspective. Hope you guys are having a great holiday, you know, uh, if you celebrate that or not, you know, and uh, hope you guys are doing well, right? Um, this channel's for men, like I always say, not boys, not males, but men looking to become the greatest version of themselves. So then therefore they can have the tools to go out there and slay today, win today, work hard and just become the men that you are destined to be only and only if you do the work right so you must do the work to get the rewards that's how it works you don't get a free pass right um so this video today basically boils down to looking for women who are looking for you okay so um just getting right into it looking for women who are looking for you um will have such so much ease on your mind you'll feel so good about this less worry less frustration and and guess what i learned this through experience right this is why i'm sharing this with you guys so therefore you can have the pros, um, perspective to understand that it's great when you understand this because you can actually limit yourself away from people you don't need to be affiliated with associated with right so um looking for women who are looking for you okay so be just so you know even if you're a man on your grind and purpose, understand that literally about 20% of women are going to be looking for you. Okay. This is for all demographic of men. 20% um, of men are going to be, or women are going to be looking for you. And um, that's great. The other 80% are going to be time wasters. Shout out to Ark, Alan Roger Curry, right? They're going to be a manipulative time wasters and things like that. You don't want that. You don't want people who are time wasters, right? Your time is valuable. It's the time that God gave you, right? And um, it's up to you to utilize it the best way you can. So you can have the best outcomes from uh, um, your life, right? So um, the women who are looking for you, are it's just going to flow. You're going to be like, man, this is working so well. Like, damn, like this girl and me, we're just clicking, right? She's going to be a great girl. She's going to have great vibes. But you understand it's very rare to find these kind of girls out here. Um, but my point is, is that, you know, looking for the women who are looking for you, you don't, when you understand the signs, right? Men, women who are wasting your time, women who are just looking for a free validation, you know, they want your time, attention, validation, commitment, resources without any reciprocity or giving back, you know, those about, that's about 80% of the women out here. Now I'm not saying this to, you know, crap on women at all. It's the game. And you need to understand the game and both parties men and women play by different rules so the game is not the same for women as it is for men it's very different okay i don't care what anyone says watching this that is the game it's the truth the problem is that it's like the elephant in the room it's like nobody wants to talk about the game while the game's being played well the elephant's in the room and somebody needs to acknowledge that there is a game going on and a dance between men and women and if you don't understand that game, you will get played or used and discarded, a man or a woman, right? So you need to understand that there's a there's a there's a balance here, there's a game here, and there's a frame balance as well, a frame uh, a frame battle really uh, going on between men and women, right? And I arguably believe you need to hold the frame and and be the the root and the the foundation and the relationship because you are the guy, right? Women look for a man that has stoic, competent, assertive, dominant, confident as well. Um, and that can be the pillar a woman's emotions can crash upon. You need to be that pillar. Not just for her, right? Now, let me help you understand. You're not doing this for her or just any girl. You're doing this for yourself. The byproduct of doing these things is that you attract the girls, right? You attract the woman and you can pick the woman that you want. I think it's funny how... You know, I have to go off subject for a little bit real quick. That women think that because they're the access to sex, right? And and let's get this straight. Men are the access to relationships, not the women. Men aren't the access to sex. The women are. They're the ones who give the okay and are feeling okay and comfortable with the guy that they are proving of to have access to their body. Their body of their choice. And I fully understand that. And it should be that way, right? Um. But, you know, it's funny how women think that it's like... You know, well, I'll find a guy when I'm ready and, oh, he should want a woman like this. And I think I've said this in other videos, right? Uh, that's not how this works, right? Especially a guy that knows his value and a guy that knows what time it is. Because here's the thing. You, it's not any old guy out here. You got guys in your DMs right now. You got guys that hit you up on TikTok, Instagram, show you, I'm just going to say it, show you deep pics, stoke, all kind of stuff, all on your Instagram and all this other stuff. 
Guys like me know what's going on. Likes, hearts, emojis, comments, saying you're perfect. Those guys, you don't want those guys. We know this, okay? We're too good. We are too adapt to this game now, right? You don't want those guys. Now, the trick is, the reason why I bring that up is because, unfortunately, a lot of women bring that mindset into, uh, 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 well, if they can get a relationship out of the guy that they, that they would want, right? It's, it all boils down to the guy that the women want. The trick is, is that the women think that, oh, he should want a woman like this, right? But the thing is really, it's like, no, the guy that you want, he, you want him for a reason because he has what you're looking for. Here's a trick that people don't think about. And unfortunately, this is what a flawed logic is on most modern women. And I hope to save a few of y'all watching this. Maybe you guys can read, think about this thing and understand that you don't hold all the cards. Nobody does. You may hold the cards of sex, but not to relationships. The guys do. Does the guy that you want, listen to me now, does the guy that you want, want you back? You can't force him to want you back. You can't shame him to want you to want him or want, you know, for you to get a relationship out of, out of him. You can't bully him into trying to get something out of him. That ain't how those guys work. Okay. Guys that know their value and understand who they are, where they're going and the dream and the mission that they're on. You think you're the only girl that wants that guy? Come on now. You're not that special. So the problem here is that they think that he should want that girl. Well, well, look at me. He should want me. That's not how this works, right? So um, a man wants a woman that, you know, that he wants. That's coachable, teachable, submissive, supportive, docile, um, uh, pleasant to be around, who is who is who has selflessness in her right? Isn't self-absorbed, right? It chills out on the narcissism and the solipsism a little bit, chills out on that. Isn't so, you know, into herself that she thinks the world revolves around her, right? Because he's got a lot to focus on. I've heard also said that, you know, uh, she needs to be, you need to chase the girl. I'm like, no, 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 no. Let's clear this up right now. A man, listen, you want a guy, like one, a top tier guy, whether he's 1% or not, top tier guy, whatever. You think that guy's going to have time to be chasing you? Think about that for a second. That doesn't make any sense. He's already focused and has his hands full and his mind busy building his legacy. There's absolutely no way in hell he has free time to just chase you. If he's chasing you, uh, he's messing up because he has to be chasing his dream. Right? Not to go spiritual on you guys, but it's just like the saying goes, God before man, man before woman, uh, woman before children. Right? God before man, man before woman, and woman and woman before children. Yeah. And that in that hierarchy. So he can't be turning backwards chasing you while trying to go backwards and chase his dream. It, no, no, no. He has to stay focused on that dream because that dream is and him having that ambition, that drive, right? It's why you're even there. <laughs> If he makes you the drive and ambition, then he's showing you what you need to know as a woman that he really doesn't have a dream. He sees you as the dream and girls don't want to be the, the dream. They want the guy to have a dream, you know, and they want to be able to follow that man's lead and uh, um, earn that respect. Dare I say earn? That's, a, that's, that's another video I'm going to say. Modern day curse words. One of them is earn, right? So, um, yeah, man. Um, I think it's crazy because... They want you to do bass backwards work. This isn't just women. This is how society perpetuates it. And what that's going to do is you're going to have minimal results. You're going to be dual minded as a man. You're not going to be singular minded on a dream and focusing on what you need to do. You're going to be too busy spreading your attention too far and wide. Don't do that. Let me tell you something. No offense, but take it how you want. You can always find another woman. But it's very hard to find a man that's exceptional. That's willing to do the work, who is willing to be the top tier kind of guy that a woman would want, right? It's 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 not it's very difficult to find a guy like that, right? Because there's tons of guys out here that have no ambition. I'll tell you that most of them are put up by soy boy manginas. I'll tell you that right now, right? And then bottom of them are lame, fat, lazy. I get on there behind all the time, so I don't I don't play that crap. Take care of yourself. I tell my family friends, like, take care of your body. Remove the, the stomach. Get that stuff tight. Take care of yourself, right? 
Do not let yourself slide. Because it just takes one little thing at a time to let yourself slide. Tighten it up. Work on yourself, right? Because it reflects this. Um, so, yeah, you know, um, just they don't understand that a woman, when a man reaches a certain peak, it's a woman can be replaced. And I'm not trying to say this to be mean, but you have to understand what you're dealing with. If you want to have that guy, you've got to work for that guy. You got to show yourself beside your body, right? Because looks will get you in the door. Here's one thing I wanted to say too. It's your behavior. Your behavior, I know it's a lot of women, whether they're they're religious or not, virgins or not, um, uh, seem to be feminine or not, none of it matters. And the reason why I say that, that's what matters is their mindset, their behavior. Their mindset is number one, right? They can have all the other things, which is cool, like maybe, maybe be a virgin or close to it, whatever. But their mindset is number one. I notice a lot of girls, regardless of whatever their background is, like I said, religious or not, their mindset is that they have the grass is always greener on the other side and they, and they have a bad attitude. I don't know where they think they get this attitude from. They get this, they have this bad attitude just because. And I, I believe it's just because they get so much attention that they don't appreciate it as much. That's why I guys tell you guys, stop giving women your attention. They need to earn that attention. There, I say that curse word again. They need to earn it. Your attention does not come free. Just as a woman's body should not come free. Okay? You need to work towards these things. You are a top tier guy who's doing what he needs to do. And you deserve these things. A woman who understands the reciprocity and is willing to do the work. If she does not, she can leave. It's no problem. We can go overseas. We have other options. Just brand your dating pool. You know, there's women overseas. No big deal. Are you kidding me? Just go overseas. Find another woman. No problem. Women here in the West are just starting to lose their minds. Just go overseas. They act like we're stuck. We're not stuck. <laughs> so, you know, um, yeah, the bad attitude. And that, all, that stems from lack of discipline, this gaining and garnering way too much attention than they need to have and um, entertaining guys that they don't even like. You're giving guys your attention. Oh, you're so perfect. Amazing. Oh, you're beautiful. You're the best in the world. And you're just sucking up the like an amoeba. You're like sucking up all the attention. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You don't appreciate that. You don't care about that because you don't care about those guys. You don't want those guys. Yeah, it's the guy that you want. The trick is, though, does the guy that you want want you back? You can't force him. You can't shame him. You can't ridicule him. You can't guilt trip him. Shame, insult, guilt need to be right, right? None of that works because he's a winner and he understands the game very well. So, again, back to what I said in the beginning when it comes to the 20% of women looking for that, that you, that they're looking for you. It's great because all the other women, you don't need to really worry about. They're going to, they're really there to help you grow. And I, I don't mean to just like say like, you know, like for intimate reasons. I'm not sick about that. I'm just saying grow mentally, right? I'm saying they help you grow, help you to become better and take it. You can either take it as a lesson or you can take it as a loss and, oh, I'll never understand. No, learn from why they, why does she act like that? Re, you know, reflect and and these 80% of women are going to teach you, right? Without them realizing it, that what you need to understand to and adapt. Because here's the funny thing before I let this, before I let you guys go. Men always come to women. Why do you think women are so good at, at, at picking what they like about men and don't like? It's not that they go to men. It's the guys that go to the women, right? So when a girl is mildly attractive in her prime, guys are going to just approach her just because all the time just because and she's gonna know how to weed out guys i have a boyfriend or say things like that just to push the guy off so she can get rid of him right or test him by saying that right if she really likes him she'll test them to say if she really has a boyfriend but not guys nowadays ain't playing that game you have a boyfriend we're leaving next girl we're not playing that game you want to say you have a boyfriend goodbye we're not playing that game okay so it's way too high risk now men have to be very careful nowadays um me too movement you can thank them for that um so you know the thing is is that you know when it comes to um women being very good at vetting men man they're good because they've been doing it for a long time right so um we just gotta adapt to it and we have to go get 
the uh, experience. When experience comes to women, we have to go get it, guys. So um, I advise you and I implore you. And I, I, I'm just telling you guys, you got to build your value. You know, and life's going to be great when you do. You'll be able to have the choices you want, freedoms you want, and the lifestyle that you're looking for. Right. So anyways, guys, uh, this is kind of a long one, too. Again, sorry, guys, like I always say, I love, I'm passionate about it. Got to share with you this truth, man. You know, not not my truth, but the truth. Right. Because the truth will set you free, but it's going to, you know, hit you in the face and you're welcome. Right. So uh, like, comment, you know, subscribe, share this with your friends, please. You know, don't just watch the videos. I know some of y'all close friends like the dang video right down there, guys. It's like it takes 1.5 seconds to click the damn video. Just like hit the damn click button. Stop playing games. So, um, anyways, you know, I'm always here for you guys. I always appreciate you guys and value you guys. You guys are kings. You guys are awesome. And the women who are out there who are actually good women are, are, are amazing, right? They, they need to keep it up and they need to, their voices need to be heard because the, the heinous of the world are overshadow, overshadowing you. So most people don't know you're around. So it's just very important for that, you know, women to stand up. This is the fight that they gotta they gotta step in. They can't step back no more. The people need to be engaged in this fight, and or they won't have the outcomes or the life or man that they want. Not my problem. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I'm out. So, like I always say, guys, you just get hit with a little alpha donia, and uh, yeah, you guys be safe and have a good holiday and uh, more more videos on the way, guys. So, anyways, take care. Peace. Bye.